A powerful storm system will be impacting the United States throughout the week, and this will bring the threat of significant severe weather, including damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes across parts of the Great Plains, the Midwest, and the Ohio Valley. Additionally, a record-breaking heat wave will be impacting the country over the next seven days, with some of the warmest weather we've seen all year happening on Wednesday. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days and we'll begin with what's happening across the country today and we still have a massive storm system along the east coast that has dumped a ton of rain over the last few days in areas like the southeast pretty much the same areas that were impacted by hurricane helene and unfortunately we've seen a widespread four to eight inches of rain across georgia south carolina north carolina and florida which areas like florida desperately needed rainfall but areas back up near the appalachian mountains did not need more rainfall and unfortunately there has been some significant and flooding. Luckily, the storm system is starting to weaken and will be moving away from this area as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. But we are going to continue to watch for a lot of rain over the next 24 hours. And I've had a lot of people asking me, why is it so warm back over in the northern plains? But why is it cold in the southern plains? Because yesterday we had high temperatures in the 100s in North Dakota and 70s in Texas. That is because of this upper level low that is spinning right now in the Ohio Valley. That is actually bringing colder weather down into the southern plains which would explain why areas in the northern plains are dealing with a heat wave. And for now, the southern plains is a bit colder, but that will not last much longer. So the return of significant severe weather is on the horizon, and the Storm Prediction Center has already put a slight risk of severe weather in place for Thursday across both the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. And the Storm Prediction Center has also mentioned that we could not actually rule out a widespread event of severe weather. It's going to depend a lot on our low pressure system as we go into Thursday, which we'll talk more about here in just a moment. But just Generally speaking, damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes are all going to be in play. The exact intensity of these will depend on the progression of our low pressure system, which we'll talk more about here in just a moment. But don't be surprised if we get an enhanced risk of severe weather or even just a larger slight risk to include more of the Ohio Valley and Midwest. On Friday, the severe weather risk is a small area for right now, but I do fully expect that this will grow in size. Right now, just a small slight risk back over in the mid-Mississippi River Valley. This will probably end up being a much larger area. It'll likely include more of the Northeast, and it'll most likely include a large chunk of the Ohio and Tennessee valleys, where more damaging winds, large hail, and a few tornadoes are going to be a possibility. And just to expand on our severe weather threat Thursday all the way through the weekend, this is an experimental machine learning tool that basically shows us the potential for severe weather, and it also goes by marginal, slight risks, all that good stuff, basically like the Storm Prediction Center. And this is specifically for Friday, and notice how it has a large area where we could see at least scattered severe severe weather across the Ohio Valley in the mid-Atlantic region. And then as we go into Saturday, the risk of severe weather is pretty much in the same area, just a little bit further down to the south and east, which totally makes sense, by the way, because our low pressure system will be moving to the northeast. Our jet stream is going to be coming out of the northwest, and that's actually going to allow, I think, for some mesoscale convective systems across the Dixie Alley, which we'll talk more about here in a moment. And then by Sunday, our risk of severe weather will be right back over into the Great Plains, where I do think there's a potential for some outbreaks of severe weather as we go into the late weekend and next week across the Great Plains and the Ohio Valley. Now let's go more into detail about our severe weather threat over the next week or so, beginning with what's happening Tuesday into Wednesday. A weakening upper level low will continue to impact the East Coast with some heavy rainfall. While that's happening, we are going to have ridging building once again back over in the Southern Plains, which is going to build a heat wave while our two low pressure systems are on each side, which will continue to bring severe weather and as well as rainfall. By the time we go into Wednesday, we'll have that low pressure system moving over the Rocky Mountains, and there will be a conditional risk for all hazards of severe weather on Wednesday across parts of Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, and Missouri. If we are able to see storms initiate, which is a low chance, but if storms do initiate, damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes would all be in play. And then by Thursday afternoon and evening, notice how this low pressure system is all the way back over in Minnesota. Strong southwesterly flow, which will pull a bunch of moisture from the Gulf and the Pacific, in addition to strong winds wind shear will lead to the potential for all hazards of severe weather across the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. This is going to also depend on the progression of our low pressure system, and it will also depend on if we have a cap in place, which right now there is expected to be a cap in place to some degree on Thursday, and depending on if that is eroded, we could see the potential for all hazards of severe weather. Right now, discrete and semi-discrete supercells is what we are mainly watching for on Thursday. On Friday, this low pressure system will really start to sit back over in the upper Midwest, and we 
will have a strong westerly wind in the upper levels, which will promote more of a line of storms, I think, on Friday. But there could still be some tornadoes possible across the Ohio Valley. And then back over in the northeast, slightly more southwesterly flow could promote an isolated tornado or two. By Saturday, our jet stream becomes a lot weirder. We're going to have a meridional jet stream. And with there being a lot of moisture still, there will be a potential for lines of thunderstorms across parts of the Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley, and Dixie Alley on Saturday. And then also another low pressure system will be forming in the southwest. And then by Sunday, this storm system will move over the Rockies. And I do think the threat for significant severe weather, including the potential even for an outbreak or two, will exist Monday into Tuesday across the central and southern plains. And notice how tight this low pressure system is to our jet stream. Strong southwesterly flow. Honestly, Monday and Tuesday do look to be a bit more classic when it comes to the potential for an outbreak of severe weather. But I do want to point out that this is still about seven days out, so things could definitely change between now and then. But definitely be ready. Our weather pattern is about to get very active here as we go into the next one to two weeks across almost the entire United States. Now let's put this into more simplistic terms with our future radar over the next few days, beginning with Tuesday into Wednesday, where it'll be mostly just rain along the East Coast in the Ohio Valley. Localized flooding will continue to be a possibility. On Wednesday, our low pressure system moves over the Rockies, and there is a conditional risk for severe weather in Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, and Missouri. For right now, the Storm Prediction Center is mainly focusing on the area that's in the Dakotas in western Minnesota, where isolated damaging winds and hail would be a possibility Wednesday evening. By Thursday, this low pressure system is spinning into the upper Midwest. Notice how strong this low pressure system is, by the way, 977 millibars. We haven't seen this strong of a low pressure system in almost a month now. I think the last time really was actually probably in the early portion of April. If not, the last time we had anything like this was the middle of March. So it's been a while since we've had a strong low pressure system quite like this. This will bring the threat of severe weather on Thursday, starting in the Midwest in the afternoon and then moving into the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley as we go into Thursday evening. And we'll have a much more detailed forecast tomorrow and as well as Wednesday with more details on the timing and intensity of all this severe weather. On Friday, the storm system is just sitting in the upper Midwest. Notice how we have actually some snow that'll be falling back over in North Dakota, which is pretty crazy. And then back over in the Ohio Valley, more severe weather is expected on Friday with mainly damaging winds, hail, and the potential for a couple of tornadoes. Right now, I don't think this will be an outbreak of severe weather, but that could definitely change as we get closer. And again, notice how it's going to be more of a west to east moving line of storms here, which means that damaging winds will definitely dominate when it comes to our risk of severe weather. On Saturday, the slow pressure system's broadening out in Canada. A little bit more severe weather is possible Saturday, mainly in the Tennessee Valley, perhaps even back over into Texas and the Dixie Alley. On Sunday, I think we have a little bit quieter of a day for the Ohio Valley, but things should start to ramp back up in the southern and central plains with more significant severe weather possible. This will begin Sunday and will roll all the way through Monday and Tuesday, so be ready for more significant severe weather. Again, exact details on this does remain uncertain at this time, but I do think an outbreak of severe weather is possible, especially on Monday or Tuesday. And then by the middle of next week, things become a lot more uncertain, but I do think our active weather pattern will continue at least through the middle of next week. And another big storyline this week is the heat wave that we'll be dealing with over the next several days. This is what it looks like on Tuesday. Above average temperatures nearly across all of the Great Plains and really anywhere east of the Rockies. But our greatest area of warm weather will be both in the Southern Plains and the Northern Plains, where temperatures can be as much as 10 to 30 degrees above average. We'll have 100s back over in Texas on Wednesday because of this heat wave. Things start to get a little bit cooler as we go into Thursday across the Northern Plains. And what is crazy is that North Dakota could go from seeing 100s, which we saw 100 degree temperatures yesterday, and you could actually see snow as we go into Thursday and Friday, which is just bonkers, especially for the middle of May. Warm weather will continue across the entire eastern seaboard and all the way back into the Southern Plains. This is an area, though, that we're mostly going to be talking about 10 to 20 degrees above average on Thursday and Friday, so not nearly as warm. And then by the weekend, that cold weather will be ushering into the Midwest, and it'll basically be sitting up there into the weekend and early next week. And above average temperatures will continue across the Southern Plains and the Deep South throughout the beginning and middle portions of next week. And get ready for some very hot weather for the next few days. These are the high temperatures on Wednesday. 100s back over in Texas, 90s across the Southeast, and believe it or not, areas back up in Minnesota, including Northern Minnesota, could be warmer than areas like North Carolina and South Carolina, which is honestly bonkers as we go into Wednesday. And even on Thursday, these temperatures will remain very high. 90s will start to stretch back over into the Midwest, the Ohio Valley, and back through the Tennessee 
Valley right ahead of our risk of severe weather, which will ramp up Thursday afternoon and evening in the same exact areas. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We'll have another video tomorrow going way more in detail about our severe weather potential over the next week or so, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Also, let me know down in the comments below how you feel about afternoon forecasts rather than morning forecasts. This is something that we may do more frequently, especially if we have no planned live stream on a given day, that and that way I can also get more sleep. But let me know down in the comments below, and we'll see you guys all again in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow afternoon. If not, it'll be in the early morning.